Hey, welcome back to Beard Squid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech using the iPad. In today's session, I'm gonna show you how to convert your old Microsoft Word or PDFs into online Google Form self-assessed quizzes. Okay, this is gonna be amazing. Um, there's a lot of us now who've got like archives of Word docs, okay, offline uh, docs, and we might wanna convert them to quizzes so that when we're teaching online or distance learning or home, schooling what we can do is we can send them out to our students and they can be self-assessed okay using google forms uh converting it into a quiz now this is this is a game changer i'm going to show you exactly how it's done what we're going to do first is um well first and foremost find your archives of your files okay so here's um what you call it word this is microsoft word and here's a quiz that i've got let me just zoom into this so you can see it okay so it's a one-step equations multiple choice quiz uh, it's a worksheet and I've got a solve each equation. I've got questions one, two, I think 13, uh, and I've got some multiple choice. Now, I remember when I put this together, I, just for my convenience, I've made sure that my answer was the one at the top. That's not really important for you, but um, yeah, so I would shuffle these uh, answers around when I would print it out or send it to students. Okay, that's something to bear in mind just for my... Um, uh, safekeeping here now i've also got a pdf of this same worksheet so this is a google doc uh, sorry this is a microsoft word um, document and i've also got a pdf so i've just gone over here and i said export and i've created a pdf okay so i've got both a pdf and i've got um uh, an open doc okay microsoft word doc here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer those onto my drive so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go here and i'm going to type in um google drive so go to your drive, if you signed in like here, if you signed in here, then it should automatically, once you click on the first link, okay, or click on drive here, it will go straight to my drive as long as I'm signed in here. This is into my drive. Now I wanna upload the files, but I wanna upload it somewhere that I know where I've put it. So I've got a folder here that says worksheets, I'm gonna click on that, and I wanna upload it here to my worksheets. Now I might have an archive of a whole bunch of worksheets, quizzes that I've got on Microsoft Word. Before I upload anything though, I wanna to go to the settings, okay? Go to the settings on your drive, okay? And then basically click on this one here, convert uploads. So convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. So I'm gonna click on that and click on done. So that allows me now, whenever I upload a PDF or um, a Microsoft Word file, it's gonna convert it to a Google Doc. So I'm ready to upload, how am I gonna upload? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go down to here. Remember I'm working on an iPad, all of my tutorials are based on using the iPad. This is the iPad Pro. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna um, just grab, okay, uh, my files app, okay? Let me just, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'll sideload it here so you can see, okay, what it looks like here, yeah? Um, I've saved it under Word. Under Word, I've got two files, okay? I've got my um, my one-step equations, multiple choice quiz, which is a doc, docx file, and then I've got my one-step equations, multiple choice, and it's a PDF file. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Shift, and I'm gonna highlight both of these. Oh, now I've got both of them selected. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag and drop them and upload them to my drive. I no longer need my um, files, so I'm just gonna see here, look, you can see that it's uploading. They're both uploaded here quite quickly. Okay, so now, okay, let's get rid of that. So I've got both of my uh, things uploaded here. Now, I'm gonna click on this, okay, One Step Equations, and I'm gonna click on uh, the docx, which was my Word, Microsoft Word file, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna open up this into uh, Google Docs, okay? Look at how fantastic that's opened up in Google Docs. No compatibility issues at all, okay? That's brilliant. Now that you've got your old archive, whatever um, worksheet or quiz you're gonna be using from, maybe a PDF or your Microsoft Word, okay, maybe you've got it in Works, iWorks or whatever, you've uploaded it to your drive. What are we gonna do from here? Right, go on to add-ons, okay, and you're gonna get this add-on called doc to form okay? Go to add-ons, uh, type in here doc to forms okay, click on it, and where is it? doc to forms here we go, this one here. Just for the sake of the tutorial, what I will do is I'm just gonna uninstall this just to show you the process of installing this. It's really quite simple. So again, I would go to add-ons, okay, type in Dr. Forms, click on uh, this and then install it, and then just follow the instructions, okay? So it's gonna say, hey, continue, uh, as it asks you to sign in. So choose your account that you wanna sign in with, obviously the account that you're using, and then click on allow. And then that's gonna install the, the add-on. And it's gonna give you some instructions. It's under the add-ons. That's fine. Now that's, that's installed, 
we can X this out and go back to add-ons. Now go to add-ons and go to doctor forms and, and then click on create form from your doc. So, okay, so here we go. We wanna collect the username for the people that log in. If you want to, you can ask for a name. You know in your Google form, when you create a Google form, you can ask questions, you can add questions, it's can't you? You can, add, you can collect uh, emails, you can collect their name, you can ask for, maybe if you're a co-teacher in a different class, you might wanna add this as well, ask for the teacher's name. Um, I don't know whether I'm co-teaching, maybe I will keep that in there, maybe not. Ask for the student's name. If you've got a new set of students, you're not familiar with who's who, then you might wanna ask for the student's name as well. And now this is, the, this is where the magic starts, okay? Question one, what's question one? What we're gonna do is here, we're gonna use a selected text, okay? So we're gonna go down here, grab the instruction as well, okay? So grab that, and you don't need to copy it. You don't need to do control C, you don't need to copy that. You just say, use selected text, okay? So now it says solve equation, so solve each equation. Look and say solve the equation. You wanna create some solutions for this as well, okay? So let's create some solutions for this. Original form was a quiz. So let's say, you know, multiple choice quiz. And now we can add our answers here. And now when you add your answers, it says add options separated by a semicolon. So these are my answers, okay? And I'll grab these lot and I'm gonna do control copy and I'm gonna paste them here, okay? Control paste. Now, what I need to do is I need to add those semicolons. So here we go. Let's add a semicolon. Okay, and remember what I said previously, I said when I created this worksheet, okay, I made sure that my answer was the one on the top and then I would shuffle it. Now that's gonna work miracles when we're creating our form because I know that every time I've added a choice here in a multiple choice, the first one's the correct answer. That, just for me, just for my workflow, that's gonna speed it up for me, okay? So that's one question, solve the equation and we've got this going on here. Let's add another question. I've got question two, okay? Um, use selected text and then I can just go ahead and copy my answers here and then go on to multiple choice and put my answers here and of course I need to just add those semicolons okay here we go so I've got my semicolons there um, let's carry on adding uh, let's add, add another question question three use selected text so that's gonna bring it there uh, let's change this up a little bit maybe we want to do um, choose from a list okay again i can choose from a list and this time i'm going to copy and paste my answers here the same principle applies i just need to separate them with a semicolon okay here we go oops i'll just delete the answer so there we go uh i think i'm going to add about five questions here so just bear with me let's do another one question four okay so you selected text very simple maybe i want to do checkbox Okay, and then I can go and grab these answers, copy and paste them in here. Okay, and then add my semicolons. So here we go, add my semicolons. All right, let's just stick with four. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the form. So here we go, we create the form. Okay, so that's creating the form. It says here, now creating form. It's loading uh, the form up. And then we get an instruction that says success. Uh, your form has been created. It has been located in your Google Drive. Let's go and check that form out, okay? So here we go, here's our form. A few clicks of a button and you're getting something that automates your response. Now, remember, we wanna create this as a quiz. You might wanna do it as a graded quiz and you might wanna add some points values to it, yeah? So here is where we do uh, the next step, okay? Since the form's open up, we're gonna to go to the settings for the form and we're gonna create it as a quiz and so make it into a proper quiz. So when we make it something into a quiz, what happens is we have to appoint a point score to it, yeah? So each question gets a, store, a score. Uh, and we can also add like the correct answer so students can get immediate feedback. This is brilliant, yeah? All participants to receive immediate feedback, okay? So we say immediately after the submission, they can get the feedback. Um, they can see missed questions, correct answers, uh, and the point value. So let's press on save, make sure you press on save, okay? Uh, so here we go, look, who's your teacher? Remember we were talking about this, who's your teacher? It's created that form for us. So let's click on this question here and we'll go to the answer key. Once we go to the answer key, we have to add the correct answer. So let's say my first question is one point score, it's only one score, and I know that my answer now, remember my answer was the one that I had on the top. My answer, the correct answer here is 18. So I can click on um, done. Okay, and I'll show you something as well, because later on we could shuffle these uh, 
answers as well. So the multiple choice, we can shuffle them up. So students aren't going to automatically know that, hey, you know what, he always does the first one as, as the, the right answer. So we can shuffle that. So no, don't worry about that. So when we do the answer key, that's one point, And I know five is the correct answer. Done. And then question three, uh, answer key again, one point, And for our drop, drop down, this is the correct answer. Press on done. Uh, and then question four, again, same concept. Oh, it's a checkbox. You could go ahead here and then change it to multiple choice if you wanted to or drop down. You know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's do the answer key. I know six was the correct answer and let's press on done. Now, you can choose whether you want it to be required for your assessment, your quiz, okay, your survey. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna say, yeah, they're required, okay? So let's go back to these and I'm gonna say, I want each question to be required, okay? By the way, the tutorial is pretty much done to be fair. It's using doctor forms and you could convert uh, you know, your old archived quizzes, your forms, your surveys into from, from a doc, from a Word doc, or even from a doc doc, from a Google doc, into a form just by clicking a few buttons. This is amazing, man. Technology today is amazing. So remember I said that you could shuffle the answers uh, so that the students don't just automatically know that the top one's gonna be the correct answer. So what you do here is go to the question, go to these three dots and click on shuffle option order, okay? Okay, again, click here, shuffle option order. What that's gonna do is it's gonna shuffle the, the order of the, of the answers so students don't automatically know it's the first one um, that you've put there. Okay, that's done. You can now share this form out with your students. Okay, so if I preview this and I show you what it looks like, enter an email address. Let's just enter my email address here. And then my name, okay, your teacher's name, and then let's start answering this, okay? So 12, okay, I'm just randomly guessing here. Remember the top answer is being shuffled, so it's no longer the top one, they've shuffled it. Remember this one was five, I think. This one was, I don't know what it was, 18 or something. Um, multiple, here, this is a drop down. this is brilliant. So let's just choose on something here. And then the last one, it says checkbox, and then let's just submit this. Okay, it says view your score, okay? So we can go ahead and view the score. We've got one out of three here, uh, and we can go ahead and see what the correct answer was. So we selected a uh, 12, it was wrong. 18 was the correct answer. We've got this one right, we've got five, and then we've got that one wrong, and we've got that one wrong. So that's the gist of it. You could do the same thing using a PDF. Really, I don't think I need to run. Anyway, let me, let me just go back and show you a PDF. So if I go back to my drive here, and I click on these one-step equations, what Google will try to do here is it will ask you, hey, do you, where, where do you want to open this up? Do you want to open it up in Docs, Google Docs? And we can go ahead and open it up in Google Docs. That's going to convert the PDF format into a editable Google Doc, okay? And then look, it doesn't really mess up much, to be honest. My answers are still there. Everything's fine. I can, this is very usable. You can convert this PDF into a form. Same principle applies. You can go to Add-ons. You go to uh, Doc to Form, okay, create uh, a new form and then go ahead and follow the same uh, sort of principles to make this into a Google quiz, a Google form, yeah? So my focus is pumping out more Google Suite tutorials, okay, so that I can support you in some capacity, some shape, way, or form for you delivering your own online classes. Uh, I hope that you do find this helpful. If you did, then give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.